basically I just knew uh, everyone on the sideline knew we needed a big play. You know, it was kind of rough in the first half, but then I just read my blocks and there was a huge hole and I just took it and I just went off. You know, as uh, Nate uh, finished with seven ca seven catches for 95 yards, including two touchdowns and. And really a, a remarkable catch here down at the end that really put the game away. Um, you know, you're in a little bit of a different position. Last year you were the go-to receiver and you were racking up hundreds of yards each and every week. Um, you know, maybe not getting the same stance, but overall, obviously, the team still doing, uh, you know, probably doing a little bit better than they were last year. Um, what are what are really some of the adjustments that the offense has made that maybe take some pressure off of you? Yeah, it's just everybody in the offense is stepping up. You know, we got a new quarterback in there. We got, I mean, I think we got top eight receivers in the league on our wide receiver staff. I mean, it's incredible. Just you look down the line at Josh Schulte or John Powers, Danny Willis, um, Nate Bergfeld coming in as a freshman. I mean, we're just, uh, Mike Castoro, I mean, we're just so deep at wide receiver that it really helps us and it makes us guard the whole whole field, which helps a lot. And again, main reason I came back was to win football games. I don't, yards and catches don't mean anything. I just want to win football games. So I stuck around. You know, Zach, you finished with four hurries on the day. Uh, it seems like whether it was 34 or 97, one of you guys was always in the backfield. Uh, what is it that your defense has been working on as of late uh, that, that, that resulted in what we saw today? This week we were really focused on just sticking with the fundamentals and focusing on your first step. If you focus on the sack, then you're not really getting the big picture. But if you focus on that first step, the next step, you'll be in the right position. And whether the play's there or not, you'll be able to execute it. You know, Liam, uh, Second week in a row now, you guys have been without your, your starting two linebackers in Logan Keel and Calvin Harris. Um, has that been an, a huge obstacle, or have guys really, you know, stepped up to the challenge? Uh, as a defensive line, we've talked about in the past two, few games, like, hey, it's really on us to pick it up. But I'm not going to – I'm giving all the credit to those inside guys. Like I said, Mark Tilkis came in and filled a role great today. And I was so proud of Mark and Bob Brophy – he, he came out, and we all knew that Brophy could do it, but now that he's playing, everybody else gets to see it too. And even last week, Michael Sheriff and the week before when he came in, those guys are just coming in. It's a next man up attitude that we have. And because of that, I think that's where we're at. Like, that's why we are the team that we are, is we've faced adversity through camp, through the season with injuries. I mean, we're a very hurt team, banged up team, but we just fight, 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 and everybody's always ready for their opportunities. So I, I'm so proud of those guys. It, it, it's awesome. It's great as, to be a whole defense, not a, two guys sticking out. It was a great defensive game. It was Definitely awesome. A full team win, too. All three sides, special teams, defense, and offense. Mm -hmm. All brought it today.